Listen up, you primitive screw heads. This here is my boomstick. And it goes boom. Hey guys, Booligan here with Booligan Shooting Sports. Those of you old timers on the channel, you guys might remember this one. This is my Hatfield SGL single shot 12 gauge. Sometime, God, 2017, 2018 maybe, I had the bright idea of let's do a Form 1 build on this thing. Let's chop it down and do a Form 1 build. And then the problem is I kept finding better things to spend my $200 on. That, those Benjamin twins, man, they can buy a lot of other really dumb guns and not tax stamps. But finally, finally, I decided, let's do it. Let's build this damn thing. You may recall I previously reshaped the buttstock to be this nice bird's head grip. And if you also may recall, I had just the hole in the back. I have since shaped this nice plug, this nice brass pin. This is lovely. Up front, the barrel was at 19 inches. Originally it was at 28 inches, but then I chopped it down to 19 inches uh, because that was the longest I could have it before having requiring a tax stamp. I was then trying to figure out how short do I want this thing? Do I want it you know, here, here, here? And I decided 10 inch barrel is sort of the sweet spot. I shaped the stock, I designed and machined out, I didn't machine, I cut it with a hacksaw and shaped it with a belt sander, this brass piece, and then this gorgeous, gorgeous leather hand strap keeps my digits intact. I have nice fingers and I want to keep them that way. But kept this guy from Kingsman Leather here in Utah. He did a fantastic job with that. And then I finally filed my stamp. Here's the problem. This is a $99 gun and nobody but me was stupid enough to file a $200 tax stamp on a $99 gun, at least not the 12 gauge. Strangely enough, somebody who actually commented on my Facebook page had built one of these out of a 410 gauge. Um, so 410 was in the e-file drop-down menu, 12 gauge was not. Because of that, when I filed this, I went into what's called pending research. Pending research sucks, because pending research just means they sit and sit and sit. You can't even send in your fingerprints. Nothing happens with it. It just sits. So after about 75 days of that, finally got my cover sheet, was able to send off my fingerprints, and was able to um, actually submit the rest of the, the paperwork for the Form 1. Um, after that happened, 27 days later, I get my tax stamp. And I wait mm, a couple of minutes before I run downstairs and hack off the front of this thing with a hacksaw, square it off a little bit. Did not do the best job, but really this is not a precision instrument. However, I have plans. The plans for this, I have every intention of talking to my good friend over at barrelthreading.com and having this threaded for chokes because I want to be able to, I don't know, take a quail with it, bring it duck hunting. I have no idea. This is probably the most pointless gun I own. But let's flip this camera around and let's try to turn some gunpowder into smiles. I've got my ears on. I've got my gloves on. We've got some bird shot in this because I like having the proper amount of wrist bones. <sighs> Wish me luck, guys. Spicy. It's actually not as bad as you'd think. Let's do that some more. Why do I hate myself so much? <laughs> that one punched me in the gut. I held that a little too close to uh, my stomach and not down at the side. You really gotta kind of grip it, lock it in, and just let her rip. The question is, oh no. Say the big question is, is uh, how bad do I hate myself? Ah, again, that wasn't that bad. I mean, I wouldn't make a hobby of shooting this thing for fun. 
<laughs> my knuckles uh, might be a little raw, but man, that's that's why we put that leather cover on the front. Oh, I'm gonna have a bruise in my stomach tomorrow, that's for sure. But yeah, it has taken me way too long to get the tax stamp done on this. And I really regret that. This is way more fun than it has any right to be. I have no idea what I'll be doing this in the future, but I have a feeling this is probably going to be something that comes out on more range trips than I care to, uh, than I care to mention. Maybe let's try to do some more rounds out of it. Thanks for watching. Now for the important question. Mini shotgun, mini shotgun shell. That was buckshot. That's a piece of cake.